So this question says the graph of the equation ax plus ky equals 6 is a line in the xy plane. So anytime a question on the digital SAT tells me about the equation of a line, I am always going to think about that equation through the structure of the slope intercept form of an equation for a line, which is y equals mx plus b. What I notice is that the equation provided for me is not in the y equals mx plus b structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it into y equals mx plus b structure. Okay, so let's do that. So to do that, I basically need to isolate y. So to isolate y, the very first thing I'm going to do is subtract ax from both sides of the equation. Leaving me with ky equals negative ax plus 6. And then I'm going to divide by k, which isolates my y. And I get y is equal to negative a over k times x plus 6 over k. All right. Let's continue reading the question. It says where a and k are constants. Okay, that's good to know. So our only variables are still just y and x as usual. If the line contains the points negative 2, negative 6, and 0, negative 3. Now, what does that mean? All right, so that means that I can use those points to plug into my equation. That tells me that when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 6. And when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 3. Okay. So what is the value of k? So that's my question. What is the value of k? So there's actually a couple of ways we can do this. I am going to utilize this ordered pair and simply plug it in and see what happens. Um, I think I should be able to find k from that. Here's what, here's what I'm thinking. I see this 6 over k in my b position, my y-intercept position of the equation. And I know that when x equals 0, that's how you find the y-intercept, right? So I should be able to use this second ordered pair to get to my 6 over k and then solve for k. Let's see if that works. So again, using that second ordered pair, y is equal to negative 3. x is equal to 0. And we still have our 6 over k. And as expected, right, this entire term here is now just 0, which means all I have left is negative 3 equals 6 over k, which, of course, I can multiply both sides of the equation by k to have negative 3k equals positive 6. And then I can divide both sides of the equation by negative 3 to end up with k is equal to 6 divided by negative 3, which is negative 2. So our answer here is negative 2, and therefore it is choice A.